good afternoon from the Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland. We're here. We're here. This is our favorite Disney character warehouse to go to. The character warehouse is the Disney store outlet. Find all kinds of stuff in there. Well, it's not even, it's the Disney parks outlet too yeah. though, right? Like, cause you can find stuff from, sometimes it's stuff they're currently selling at regular price in the parks. You can find in this store for less money. Right? I'm waiting to find the figment popcorn bucket here. Uh, I know for sure that it's gonna, well, I don't know for sure. You think? I have a good feeling that it will be coming because the last time we were at Epcot, they were everywhere. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> what, are the, what were those things? It was like tribbles from Star Trek. They were just like littered around the Odyssey building <laughs> everywhere. So I think they have a ton of them. We'll see, we'll see if we, they definitely won't be in there on this trip. Right. But we'll come back. So the last time that we were here, was actually, oh my gosh, I think the last time we were here was the day we found out we were pregnant. Yeah. It was literally like eight months ago. It was, it's been a while. Yeah, wow, oh my gosh, I'll link that video down below, but I'm excited to see what they have in there now. Right, and also, there's a few other outlet stores that I'd like to check in on. Yeah, I wanna see if there's a New Balance outlet. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to see if they have my shoes anywhere. And there's other shoe outlets, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see. See what was well let's get the world is our palm tree let's go inside and see what we can find also it's very hot today yeah it's so hot vineland outlet update these tables out here are new oh are these new look at these whoa fancy seats yeah. nice and cushy i like wow. that also maybe i'm just not observing sometimes but like i don't think that these lights were here and i don't think that this archway was here huh. But it might have been. The lights definitely no, but the archway maybe. It's been a minute since we've been here, so they probably Ooh. have made some changes. I just had deja vu. Of what? Of this moment right now. Oh. Also, this the people that like run this, the company that runs this is called Simon. Who's Simon? There's a place here called Open Container. It's a wine store in a shipping container. Open Container, good that's, name. That's so smart. They play on words. Yeah. So somebody brought their dog. Everybody waiting to go in the Gucci outlet. Jen. Yeah. How come we have never been to the train store anytime we've been here? The train store? Yeah, the train store. It's like right there. It says right there, Jimmy Choo. <laughs> I'm gonna start a, a model train YouTube channel and call it Timmy's Choo Choo. Timmy Choo Choo? Timmy Choo Choo. <laughs> we watched this show called Slobby's World one time where he like, he goes out and he finds, what is it, he like finds vintage clothing. Well, sometimes it's like knockoff, like blue light stuff too. Yeah. That's like rare and hard to find. And he, he sells it for an incredible upcharge. Yeah, it's almost like thrifting, but he changes the item. Not always. No? No, he just buys old stuff and is like, oh, somebody's going to buy this sometimes, Space Jam shirt for like $300. Well, and sometimes he like restores it too. Yeah, but there was one time that he was like, oh my God, this MCM is so sick. It makes me want to throw up. So and I was time, like, every time we come here, we're like. Every time we see anybody with MCM, we're like, what? Yeah, <laughs> here it is. This is what we came here for. The food court. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to the character warehouse. We just met some people that had just come out of the character warehouse and they said, nothing good in there. No. I'll be the judge of that. Let's see, let's see. Let us see. Oh, well, this is nice. It's a half mug with a spot for a cookie. Oh. Brilliant. From the oh. Grand Floridian. They have all the Holiday Lodge stuff, too. I yeah. want to smell this candle. Well, how much was this one? First? Oh, sorry, sorry. $24. $25, no, that's that not right. right. Let's that's see, it's gotta be somewhere out here. Mickey Mouse stainless steel bottle for $19.99. Holiday Lodge stuff, how much is the Holiday Lodge stuff? Oh, this smells bad. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> Doesn't say, what does it say on the bottom of that one? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Is there another one with a different price? No, they all say $25. I wonder if it is just $25. Oh, I hope not. I don't know, but look at this. Oh yeah, these were those ears. These are the Christmas ears. So wait, what's the... Does it say? No, where's the sale price? I don't know. Does it say on the actual tag? No. no. Ooh. Maybe we'll ask. Good somebody. question. Ooh, a holiday cheer. This one actually creates snow instead of just bubbles. Nice. We have one of these. This is thirty thirty-three dollars. What does it say? It's twelve ninety-nine. I like it. Droid Factory. The advent calendar. I feel like we should buy advent calendars for next year. This is an $80 item in the parks. Right now, $30 here in the outlets. Wow, really? Yeah, I like these cool Dooney and Burks. This size is 150. Wow. This size, same size, it's still 150. Well, how much is the big one down here? This one is 
unknown price. What does it say? 180. 180. Yeah, like not bad, size. not bad. Oh yeah, they have kind of a lot of Dunienbergs. A lot of different prints. What so is this one? The last time we came, I think it's Food and Wine 2022. Plate, no, Behold the Grill Master Food and Wine oh. Festival 2022, yeah. I've never seen this print. It's cool. I like it, 160 for either of these two sizes. Oh, they have a little backpack. Coco, is it a backpack? Yeah. Oh, it's very skinny. Yeah. Look at how thin that is. It's very stylish. We got Coco, we got Figaro, and what's the goldfish's name? Oh, I can't remember. Ooh, it's a good question. Is this Rescuers Down Under or just Rescuers? I think just Rescuers, but another size of it. This is a very niche product right here. Goldfish's name is Cleo. What is this? These are just llamas, or is this the Emperor's New Groove? What is this? Oh, this one's awesome. Look at that. I like this one a lot. The Emperor's New Groove Dooney and Burke, 180. Oh, 14 bucks for the ears? Yeah, so the, the Christmas ears, the ones that look like the snow globe, somebody, yeah. I literally just saw somebody like wait in line and ask the price. 14 bucks. Oh yeah, nice. She said no. So there must be cheaper ears somewhere. No what? Like she was like, no, that I won't take them. Oh, maybe so she didn't want them. No, she had another pair of ears. I think that. Oh, okay. Jungle Book. This is a cool print too. Originally one fifty ninety nine dollars for the Lionel twenty twenty two train. Oh, a Hoppy Halloween. Does it say Hoppy or Happy? What do you think? Because it's a little frog. It should be oh, a Hoppy. Hoppy Halloween. Oh, and it's got a light up effect. I don't know where where to make it light up. It's nice know. quality though. It's like super thick. This part is. This part not so much. Ah, uh, okay. What's this? It says feeling jolly. It's a holiday tin. That's it. It's just empty. Oh. Nothing in it. How much is it? Ninety-nine cents. Ninety-nine cents. Nice. Oh, by the way, this doormat was twenty bucks. What do you think this is? Lightuptoys.com. You think those are those the spinning wands that blow bubbles? I don't know what those are. I think so. I'm kind of curious. Here you go. Four dollars. Oh yeah, see. For some Halloween ears. That's why she put the other ones back. Yeah, she like somebody got them. I was like, no. <laughs> some Halloween stuff. I like this. So are these Oogie Boogie light up tumblers. Are these the ones that you would buy at Oogie Boogie Bash they in are. California? Oh my gosh. That's really funny. Well, it's weird that they didn't go to the because California has an outlet too. Do they? Yeah. Somebody said it's not as good as ours. Oh, because all the stuff comes here. Yeah. Silly Symphony, the dancing skeletons. Oh, I hope they don't have the stuff we bought full price. Right? <laughs> Some Crocs down there too. Oh yeah. Halloween Crocs. Yeah, this is more of that Oogie Boogie stuff. That same line. Wow. Hocus Pocus. This is Binks. Hocus Pocus tea light holder. Oh, the the mouse shaped soap. The Halloween version. Thirteen bucks. Well, that's not bad. This is like Mike Wazowski headband. Look at his little hands down here though. I wonder how comfortable. Let's see how comfortable they are. Oh yeah. So you move the the horns. And his eyeball opens and closes. Yeah, you look awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> I'd date you. Oh, the Grogu candy bowl. It is cute. 25 bucks though. I, just, I don't have anywhere to put it. Right? No storage space. <laughs> How much is the Mickey candy bowl? Where he's like swimming in it. 25 bucks as well. I like this one better. Yeah. Looks nice. That way you fill it with candy and he's like, I'm swimming in candy. Yeah, it's kind of like the ducktails. Oh yeah, but with candy. 12 bucks for that half a mug from the Grand Floridian. I like it. Oh, some tea towels. We can get tea towels. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there was a lot of good stuff here. I, know, I wonder if they, so we haven't been in a while. Maybe they had come like last week and all, it was all the same maybe. I don't know. Like these Christmas ears over here. Yeah. 15 bucks. Yeah, it was just in the park. Hanukkah pillows. A onesie? Yeah, selling it cheaper. Doesn't have a price on this one. Let me see. These all say seventy dollars, but I don't know if that's the actual price. Oh, up to snow good. Like a little kid's onesie for thirteen bucks, and it's got all of the Star Wars characters in snow globes. I think it has to be on sale because the two piece set is twenty five. Oh, that two piece set over there. Yeah. Okay. So it must be on sale. Yeah. I love this. That's fun. I wish they had like little boy, little boy stuff. stuff. I know, they never have right. anything. I like how ominous this is. Jack Hot Cocoa Surprise Melt. Oh. White chocolate filled with marshmallow bits. Wait, how old are these? It's not, it's, it's not full of hot chocolate. It's just full of marshmallows. What? Huh. 
I thought it would be full of hot chocolate. Says, and watch for the marshmallow surprise. So do you get one of these? Oh, it says place hot cocoa surprise melt. Oh yeah, maybe you get one of these. I don't know. You gotta use it before Halloween this year. Okay, well that's fine. You got plenty of time. <laughs> oh, it feels nice. Mickey like and a... Friends Christmas mug for $6. Good in my hand, you know, it's a good feeling mug. Oh, it's got a lot of warnings on the inside. Oh, does it? Oh yeah. Don't use, don't use it for drinking. <laughs> oh dear. It doesn't say that. No. It does say that you can microwave it and you can put it in the dishwasher. Well, that's so that's nice. Good, it's yeah. like stoneware. Yeah, it's nice. It feels good. For an even smaller mug, costs more. It's $8 for this little Starbucks ornament. A box of surprises. Yeah, 12 days of Christmas. It's 12 days of jewelry. So you get... Oh, well now it's not a surprise anymore. I know well, what it is. I mean, I think they want to make sure that you think it's worth the price. Okay. So you get like the earrings and the, and the necklace and then you get the charms for the earrings and the necklace. Okay. And some hair clips. And then what are these things? I think those go on the earrings. Okay. Oh, we can save money on eggs by getting them here. Just kidding. This is a... Uh, an ornament, glass, very fragile ornament. It says 2022 on it. Mickey and Minnie caroling is eight dollars. What is this? Oh, it's a Disney pin ornament. So there's a pin inside of there, and then you can hang it up on your Christmas tree and then open it and take the pin out if you'd like to. It doesn't say. It says it's nine dollars. Originally 25. Oh, there he is. There's Groot hanging out over top of a present for 13 dollars. Some, some pajama type things. All the characters look weird though. Captain Marvel, yeah, well, Hulk definitely looks weird. Captain America, Spider-Man, that's it, right? I don't love the ones with the buttons. I really like the ones with the zips, like the yeah. zippers. So I probably wouldn't get this, but. Well, like, why is Groot here if none of the other guardians are there? Because babies love Groot. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, the Star Wars sweater, oh, right here. Everybody, the... everybody wanted this sweater. Right? It is on sale for 75 bucks. It was originally 130. Wow. Good deal. Well, it says Star Wars. I mean, it is cute. It's very thick. The Pixar Monsters Inc. No, it's just all Pixar spirit jersey, but it doesn't say anything on it. I like the checkerboard on the bottom. It's like flocked, like, like fleece. This is cool. Oh, and down the sides. Oh, all right. Yeah. Boo and Pam and the sh oh Buzz's ship and the three the three sheep Bo Peep sheep and this is Spirit Jersey brand. It is originally ninety dollars, thirty five bucks. This is so soft. Wow, and it's soft on the inside too. Oh, got Sherpa sleeves and then the the Pixar characters as Nutcrackers. Huh. Interesting. It doesn't say how much it is. The most impractical runaway railway mug in the shape of a train engine because it's square. 15 bucks. This is a Princess and the Frog restaurant fund. Oh, six bucks. Pretty good. Oh, the Epcot 2022 cookie stroll cookie jar. 20 bucks. Oh, the Starbucks 50th tumblers for 10 bucks. Get this Animal Kingdom one. I like it. Oh, we just bought this from, from Disneyland. Disneyland. This one's ten dollars. Look, I love it. But it's only a newborn size. Well, it, this is three months. No, it's not. It's a newborn. You gotta look at the tag. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I like this Magic Kingdom one though. I like the colors on this. It's like muted pink. Well, it's just the Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom one that I'm seeing so far. New Emo stuff for two dollars. Trying to see if there's anything for our Kermit. Heck yeah. These are the candies that they were giving out <laughs> at the, <laughs> the Halloween party. These were good though. I might get these, they're 99 cents. <laughs> but it's kind of a good deal, right? $8, Little Tricks, Big Treats. I'm sad though because we had our appointment today, our 34 week appointment. And she literally said, don't buy newborn clothes. Yeah. And that's like all they have. And this won't fit him. Come Christmas. Yeah, but this is You're gonna so do cute. Christmas in July. It won't, it'll be too hot. I know, I'm just telling you, we could do it. When it gets cold in the park, they sell, you know, like beanies and stuff. So these are just like generic beanies you can get for $10, originally $20. They do have one Hawkeye or two Hawkeye ones, but no price on those that I can see. Disneyland's Main Street Electrical Parade 50th anniversary merch. These are magnets. All the way over from Disneyland. 
It says $24.99, but I don't think that that's correct. That's they're, the original price. They're definitely on sale. Yeah. Doesn't say though down here. We bought this Emil remote control, wearable remote control buddy for $35 when the ride first opened. Here it is, $21. It's fun because it like goes on your shirt. There's a little magnet underneath and it runs around on your shirt. I think my favorite thing about coming to the outlet is finding things that we paid full price for. Yeah. And seeing what they're selling them for. <laughs> That's what I said. I know. Although Jackson really does love this thing. Yeah. So. Um, but ding dang, we've bought a lot of things in here at full price. Right? Uh, real quick, Miss Marvel. The coach jacket, look. The coach jacket? Oh no! That's not the coach jacket. It's not? Is it? Is it? it, it the is. Let's go look. Hold on. It is. The coach shirt is right next to it. I'm going to be very upset. I can get a bigger size now. On sale right now for $175. I bought this sweatshirt full price. Man, $150 for this coach shirt we didn't on sale shirt. right now for $80. But I gotta say, this one really stings. Yeah. We, we, saved we bought this when it, when it came, the collection came out. We would have saved like $200. Yeah. So yeah, it's half price. Yeah. Dang. Well, now, now you know. Don't, don't, don't do what we did. Right? <laughs> they also have the Vans stuff in here. This is a Vans shirt, and this is a Vans shirt. On sale right now for $20, $24. For $13, you get a Star Wars Life Day tumbler. Also, the Life Day robe Snuggy for 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. I kind of want this for the hospital. Yeah, we can get it. It's, it's fine. It's so soft. It's literally, it's like a wearable blanket. Yeah, it's a Snuggie. I love this. They also have the Life Day orb mugs. I don't really know what Life Day is. I just know Six dollars. They wear comfortable clothes on Life Day. I don't know. Figment with the glazed look. <laughs> what is this? Wait, what is it? Yeah. This is like made of silicone. It's a puppy hat. It's a mug. Oh, this keeps your drink warm. Isabel. Yeah, for 15 bucks. But it's like very... Very puffy. Oh, and then I was looking at these, so. Yeah, I might give me a tumbler because I do love me some tumblers. Well, it's just such a good deal because Tervises are normally $30. $30, bucks. right now, 15 bucks, half off. And they off. have a lifetime warranty, so if you can get them on sale, even if it's out of date, like this is a Food and Wine 2022, yeah. like it's still a great deal. Yeah, you can take it to the Tervis store, they'll take this piece of a printing out of it and put it in a new one for you. Yeah, like if you break it. If so something you... happens. As long as this isn't messed up, like the inside graphic. Yeah, should we get one for you and one for your mom? Because your sure. mom like, collects these. Yeah. And you do too now. I've been, I'm, it's... We don't even have enough room in our... Cabinet. I know. Yeah, and some poo bread. You know right? I, it is very cute, but I just, we don't put our bread in a, um, in a container. Well, that's because we haven't been eating poo bread. Oh, that's true. Right? They have Jungle Cruise Theme Park Edition Hungry Hungry Hippos and Friends for 20 bucks. Also some What If characters. I like Zombie Cat back there. T'Challa Star-Lord. Pretty cool stuff. Spider-Man with Doctor Strange's cape. What could go wrong? What is this? That's a Titanic sketchbook. Oh, you know? Draw me like one of your you can draw somebody like one of their French women. That's Why so is this weird. here? I don't know. But I love it. Why is this here? How much is it? That's so random. Brilliant. It's kind of nice. It's like vegan leather. That's just plastic. It comes with a sketchbook, eight pencils, and eight pencils. All varying, like, hardnesses. Is it? Yeah, this is 6B, 4B, 2B, B. 2B or not 2B? Yeah. These are nice. Yeah, this is nice. No eraser though, you gotta be really good What's at What's a sketchbook? Well, what you don't make... erase in a sketchbook. What if you make a mistake? It's just a happy accident. Oh, jeez. Ah, I can get it. Oh, you did? You ran it. For $8, I can have this hat. This is the thickest hat I've ever felt in my life. Feel how thick that brim is. It's like made of concrete. Oh, it's like, um. It's like the hard, it's like hard. It's weird. It feels like jersey, like a like a baseball jersey. I know that there's like the, the cardboard in there, but the rest of it is like... You know how thick like jerseys are though? It feels like Tyvek, yeah. Hmm. Oh! Starbucks oh, tumbler from Christmas right next like to you. Like you literally just threw that hat down and you were like, get out of here! Yeah, Castaway Key? Fifty dollars! Fifty? New! Yeah, but... How much is it on sale? Is this just somebody's drink? Oh, maybe. <laughs> like Fifteen bucks! And you could take that into Starbucks and have them fill it up for you. That's a good deal. Yeah, right? There's a ton of them. Look at them all. Oh my gosh. And look at it. It says Bling WDW. Starbucks Bling WDW. Wow. Are they dry erase? I don't, I don't know. Color framed art set, but you have to color it yourself. But what's this like Grogu like sponge? I think it is dry erase. Wipe away and redraw. 
and then hang your art. That's oh, fun. Okay. For 16, or sorry, 15 bucks. I have a hard time with this because this is a Heli Henson like sailing waterproof jacket for $82. Originally, uh, 165. It's a good deal. I tried it on, it fits. This is a medium. I like the color. But I don't, it's uh, hot here always. But we, so also, like, we also bought one of these from here. We I bought it. You got one. We bought it from the parks. There was something going on in the Norway Pavilion, yeah. But we paid like $25 for a $300 jacket. We got a really good deal, but we've never worn it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Also, this Epcot jacket. So I have a version of this. Mine's not see through. No, a lot of people were asking in our last Festival of the Arts video, where'd you get your jacket? It's so cool. It's from this collection. Yeah. Mine's super fun though because it has like reflective panels on it. It must and, have sold out. Yeah, when you go into the bathroom with like the IR sinks, it turns all of them on. <laughs> super fun. I like this Epcot jacket though for 30 bucks. That is cool. Yeah, the entire Marvel and Star Wars Pride collection over here, or about a bunch of it at least. I have like a fan. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good fan. Look yeah. That, look at that wind. Look at that movement. I see it. America Chavez? Yeah. It's like a backpack that looks like her jacket. Yeah, 15 bucks. Ooh, if you're going on the Star Cruiser, they have a certified, like Han Solo belt, I'm thinking. What is all this stuff? This is cool. It's like a, some sort of wallet thing here. And this one is $25. R7 FNG. He's like a little vampire from the Droid Factory. This is from Halloween. It says $15, but I'm sure it's probably like five or three or something like that. Alright, well, this is a Main Street Electrical Parade 50th anniversary fan. I like it. Let's see if it's it is four dollars. Let's funny? see if it see if it pops. See if you can get a good snap out of it. And that was uh, fantastic. You did great. Fantastic. Oh. I like what you did there. Oh, the Crocs. No. The, the, my visor. It's not my visor. It's a, it's a, they didn't have my visor. I don't know why they didn't have the visor, but it's a bucket hat. They have a cool visor on the end of this um, thing over here. Yeah, but it's not my visor from when I was a kid. No, I don't think That like lights up and everything. I this looks fantastic. Does it? Let me take a picture of you. You gotta see it. It's good. Is it though? Yeah, really good. Yeah, look at you. These are great though, these Crocs. How much are these? So these are from the Vault Collection. I feel like we're gonna start seeing more and more of this in the outlets. This one. Oh, that one's nice too. Right? I like this. Yeah. Looks like you're out to play tennis. Do you not know how to wear a hat? My hair is up. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What, is this not how you wear it? No. How do you wear it? You put it on. You don't know how to wear it either. This is exactly how you wear a hat. I can't see how my hair looks. I mean, we didn't do your hair, so it doesn't look great, but... It doesn't matter, you have a hat on. Can you say if my, ha my hair doesn't look great? What? what Throw you? it away. <laughs> Jen, oh, the visor was 15 bucks? Yeah, I feel like I would I would buy it if it were cheaper. Okay. But, oh yeah, I wanted you guys to see all the Stony Clover Stony Clover so for have, $100. I didn't realize how expensive this brand was, but they have all these little... I like, like this, this um, is fun. Toiletry bags, this is $89, originally $150. Okay, so, a little skinny. Well, yeah, it's Seems just, like a makeup bag. I think it's the same, same thing. Mm. This one's a hundred, but feel how thick it is. Who's this? Just, just all the princesses? It's so heavy. Oh yeah, it's this like is heavy like duty. a heavy backpack. And then you got Mrs. Potts and Chip down here. This is nice. This one's 125 on sale. Wow. Yeah, these things are heavy backpacks. We've got a little bit of a different Stony Clover thing here. We've got Gus Gus, Chip, a frog from Princess and the Frog, and Flounder here. This one's bigger than the one that you were just showing. Yeah, it's huge. This one's very giant. And this one was $100. $100. This, this waist pack right here is 113. It's expensive and very thick. Is this Stony Clover too? Yeah, for 78, 77. I like this. Flounder. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's not very practical, like the size. Yeah. Because it's a weird, you know, it's like oblong. Definitely put some who's it's and what's it's in there though. Come on the other oh, side for 20 bucks. Princess and the Frog backpack. This is so cute. I like it. A little bit thinner, lighter weight. There's like picnic ears here. A lot going on. 
This is part of the Lux line from the 50th. Right now, on sale for like 20, what does it say? 30 bucks right now. I love these. Originally, oh yeah, look at these. How oh, cool. That's fun. These are amazing. How much are they? 30 bucks. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Those are so neat. How much was this originally? Oh, it was like $150. It was like 150 bucks. Well, it feels like a rug. Yeah, I didn't like the, it was kind of <laughs> scratchy. The Disney Parks X Bobble Bar with Jack Skellington right here for 30 bucks. Limited edition Pop Funko Disney pin with the Dapper Dans. This has 16 bucks, but I don't know. They have the Disney Coach Tote for $296. They have the smaller size one. I don't have that one like listed anywhere. They also have the big leather mini doll from Coach. Oh my gosh. More vault collection stuff. These are like pajama shorts, but not really. They're like, I don't know, it was a skirt. Oh, is it? Not even a shorts. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't think, I didn't know that either. 13 bucks. Navi River Journey Windbreaker for $21. Yeah, Pandora. Another Main Street Electrical Parade hooded jacket right here. This one seems like a like a crop top, but the inside is where it's at. And the inside has the print on it, and this is twenty nine dollars for three dollars. I'm gonna get this graduation cap, class of twenty twenty two, with Mickey ears on top of it. We're in checkout, and Jen's thinking. No, I'm not going to get it because I don't wear use, a purse. I, I use only my backpacks now, but I love this. You could use it. I just don't think that I really would. It's $137. Yeah, they have three different sizes. You get this giant one down here. I do love it, though. It's so cool. I think I'm just going to get all the girls from Turning Red, though. <laughs> it's interesting to me that Disney had the coach stuff in their outlet, and there's a coach outlet right here. This is a cotton candy robot. I don't eat cotton candy, but if I did, I would get it from this machine. It looks interesting. I only Plus eat the music. Made by robots. Yeah, the music is very enticing. But weird, there's an oxygen bar here. I'm just like getting it for free right now. I know. Now. Look at us. Just go over and sniff a tree. All right, so we did go to the New Balance store. They do have a New Balance factory store, but. Uh, and they had some stuff in our size on sale that was like fairly a good price. But I feel like maybe it's silly for me to buy shoes right now while I'm extra pregnant. So. My friend Nick, I texted him a picture of me wearing the River Journey jacket. Yeah. And he said, you should buy it, Siba Co. And I said, Siba, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, so now we're headed out to grab some lunch. I think we're going to go to Portillo's because we're close by the Portillo's. Are we? Yeah, aren't we? Close enough. I thought that's where we went last time we were here. I think maybe we did. There's a Claire's outlet. Oh, How much oh. cheaper can it be? We get free piercing. That's kind of crazy. Like, it's already so cheap. Let's get my ears pierced. Again? Again? All right, let's do it. Tim was upset that we didn't go to the Gucci store. Could have been buying more sweaters. <laughs> oh, no. So we're going to head to Portillo's. But I have to say, I've been highly influenced this week because the theme park foodies, who we actually met them at the, what was it, the Christmas party? Yeah. Yeah, the Christmas party. And they were nice enough to share their table and some of their goodies with us. But... They went to Portillo's, they posted about it on Instagram, and I was like, oh man, I want that so bad. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. so now I think that's why we're gonna go there. I've just been craving that spicy beef. That's all I want in my life. And I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, th thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what do we, what'd you say? So Area 15 is gonna open a venue here, like in this field right here. What is that? Area 15 is where like Meow Wolf is. Oh. Uh, the Omega Mart. Okay. So we're like directly, the outlets are, are right over there. Yeah. We're kind of like behind the outlets, behind, what is this? That's a Holiday Inn Express. A Holiday Inn Holiday Express. Inn Suites. Okay. So it'll be right there. You know what else they had at the uh, Area 15? What? Shrek Rave. Oh, the Shrek Rave. Yeah. Oh. I still don't understand what that is or what that was. Dress up like Shrek and you rave. You just paint yourself green? Yeah. How does that differ from a normal rave? I mean, you dress like Shrek. <laughs> I feel like I'm sure somebody went to a rave dressed like Shrek before this. That's true. Hmm. Those are the true trendsetters. Yeah. But now, is that Portillo's right there? Uh, the red one? No, it's that's Shake Shack. No, that's Target. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I need my glasses. Shake Shack, Chick-fil-A, and Target are over here. Okay. We're going over top of the highway. Oh, okay. Damn. I am so ready for some Portillo's. I have to say, 
like I it's it's bad for me to scroll on Instagram because I really do it I understand now what Instagram is it's for influencing it makes you hungry it makes you want to buy shoes you don't need that's why we literally went to the New Balance store because somebody linked their like outfit they're like like to know it or whatever and the shoes were New Balance and they were just like white retro New Balance shoes I was like oh I love those those are so great those would be great just to like have you know for in your closet just like a staple piece and then we went in there and I was like I probably shouldn't be buying these de-influenced <laughs> I think I'll buy them once I have the baby and like I depuff. Oh. You know what I mean? Depuff. So I just was influenced prematurely. That's all. Oh, okay. That's all that happened. But we're definitely going to Portillo's because the theme park foodies were posting about it on Instagram. So it worked. Okay. It worked. So we're here at the Portillo's and White Castle is over there. But then there's also another White Castle location here called a Crave and Go. Is that like where it's just a grab and go like cold White Castle? I don't think it would be cold person's driving backwards all right let's go there's also a jeremiah's italian ice which i am curious about because it's always packed there's always people there but to me i'd rather just get ice cream right they just sell ice yeah they're just selling ice yeah flavored ice i guess when we were in hawaii we're like let's go get shave ice i guess you're yeah but i would rather have ice cream i'd rather have a, a cake shake oh good news you can get portillo's heart-shaped cakes these aren't heart shaped these are just regular oh these they're icing one up back then. It's a hard shape. Look at it. It's like three ice cream scoops full of icing. It looks so good. Ooh. Oh my god. Now we know gold medal, original chocolate fudge. You didn't get your shake. Do you order it there or here? You order it there. Are you sure? Yeah. You order it when you order your food. I didn't see it on the I'm gonna go get one. Okay. <laughs> There's all these posters on the walls and things of like records. Mm -hmm. And I want this Sam and Dave, hold on, I'm coming. I want this record. They're just the cover art is amazing. Yeah, I got no sport peppers on my hot dog here. But I got two hot dogs. Got mustard on there, some bright, bright green relish, some onions, some tomatoes, poppy seed bun, french fries. This is a second hot dog over here. Jen got the Italian beef. I got it with the spicy jardinera sauce. I yeah. added some, she talked me into adding some cheese onto it, so that sounds good. You got good. some mozzarella cheese on there. Yeah, and then I got some cheese sauce for but my fries. You also fries. got the gravy to dip oh, it yeah. in. I didn't have them dip it. I'm gonna dip it. Yeah. And then we got cheese sauce for the fries. Where is it? Here it is, cheese sauce. Yeah, it's look just at like that nacho plastic cheese. cheese. Yeah. It's a little bit smaller than I would originally like, but that's why I get two. And you don't put any condiments? It's got mustard on it. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, and it's got relish and, and tomatoes. It's got a good snap to it. I think next time I would get it without the tomatoes. Really? So it's just yeah. only gonna have... They seem excessive. That's onions, relish, and, and uh, mustard. Almost like mayonnaise. It also comes with this giant pickle. Spicy goodness. I love the spice. I'd like for this to be a little bit more mustard. I was contemplating getting the, um, what is it called? The, the National Street Polish? You got that the last I had that before and it was good. And then I also was thinking about getting a bacon cheeseburger because, like, something interesting for Portillo's, but like, it's a hot dog place. Hot dog and, well it says hot dog, beef, burgers, and salad. Yeah. I'm known for all of them. Yeah, it says salad. Yeah. Do you like it? This okay. cheese is really good. I might dip my hot dog in the cheese. Okay. She also said that people put this cheese on their Italian beef. Yeah. I think the mozzarella is the way to go. Okay. This place seems kind of fun to work at. Right? And they're hiring. Look. We can look over at Jeremiah's, and they do sell ge uh, gelatis and ice cream, soft serve ice cream. So maybe that's what people are going there for. Maybe they're getting ice cream. Right here next to the bathroom, December 4th, 1956, Sun Studios. You got Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, and Jerry Lewis, the Million Dollar Quartet. All right, so we took our cake shake to go. And I just wanted to show you, it's it's got a ton of cake pieces in it. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's like chunks of cake in there. It is so good. The only thing is, is that your straw gets kind of clogged with the cake, which is not a bad problem to have, but it's so rich and like decadent and wonderful. And I was telling Tim, I kind of feel like I want this to be my like after giving birth meal. Oh. <laughs> I don't think there's one near the hospital, but 
man, this is what I want after I give birth. I want a spicy Italian uh, beef. What is it? A spicy beef Italian? Italian beef? Spicy Italian beef. Extra spicy peppers, gravy, those french fries, this shake. That's what I want. Okay. So you you know. got it, dude. <laughs> okay. But that was such an amazing way to end our shopping trip to the outlets. We saw so many awesome things at the outlets and then had an amazing lunch. That's true. Those were things that did happen. Yeah. So what a great day. So that chocolate cake shake was so good that I forgot to end the video. <laughs> so I highly recommend going to Portillo's, especially if you like the Italian beef. The spicy like pepper sauce that they put on top is amazing. Highly recommend getting the gravy. Tim really enjoyed his hot dogs. And of course we saw some really amazing stuff at the outlets. So if you haven't been to the Disney character warehouse, I definitely recommend checking it out because you can get some really great Disney souvenirs for a lot less money than you can in the parks. So we had a really great day and I hope you guys had fun coming along with us. And with that being said, it was a fantastic day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>